guys. That was such a bad flight for me. Hola, good lovers and friends. My name is Audrey and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another video. I am in Lilongwe, Malawi, Kap Kamuzi International Airport. Yeah, I just got here. So, sis, how did you get there? <laughs> Let's go. Let's start from the beginning. Yeah. I just had my bath and I'm still feeling very sleepy, which I get because um, I didn't have much sleep. I was parking. This is literally the first trip I am taking that I am parking the night before. You know, I'm an over planner, overthinker in that regard. So I always do these things beforehand. But this time around, I was <laughs> kind of emotionally unavailable to attend to this trip. I even wanted to start my vlog then, but I couldn't. Which is better, rather than, you know, coming here, giving you guys negative energy and all of that. So, no. Otherwise, you know, love is love. And sis loves all of this. So, here I am showing up. You know, actually, it was past midnight. So, technically, I was parking today and I'm leaving today. And I'm sleepy when I shouldn't be. Hey guys, I'm at the mall. It's really very windy. I hope you can hear me. But uh, just quick errand. And then, oh yeah, there's a tip. I understand to some people all of this airport viewing might seem like too much but if you're Zambian from Zambia or have been to Zambia and you've arrived or departed from our old international airport which is now the domestic airport you will understand how huge this is of an improvement this new airport for someone like me who likes to travel has been in and out a couple of times it's just really so exciting to have video, this airport, airport in my own country you know not just admiring Finally. airports when i arrive in other countries but i'm it. departing from a nice airport yeah. myself and when i get back it'll be a nice airport and i'm really just so happy about that so enjoy all of these clips So found this charging port which was on a few chairs but then it wasn't working i have decided to believe it's due to the newness of the airport not everything is open and function even when you walk around there's you like plastics here and there and whatnot okay i don't know whether it's a disappointment or not there yet but this thing is not working 
Vamos. I've decided to change my mask. So I have decided to change my mask because um, the black one is too thick and cloth and you can't really hear me. So guys, here's, here's what happened, yeah? <laughs> I arrived at the airport early. I was sitting outside chilling, relaxing. I was looking at the time, but then I thought it's too okay to just wait a little. And the next thing I'm hearing, checking in for Malawi Airways, coming to an end, closing, yada yada. I'm like, ha ah, ah, just now. So I rushed and I was the last one, and the bee's like, oh, you're late, you're late, you're late. Please, come on, I kind of know how this works. Stop making so much noise. And now we're just here seated. So here's another airport tour down after checking in and immigration and all of that COVID stuff. Yeah.
it was such a bad flight for me that was such a bad flight it's probably the worst I have ever experienced I don't know what happened it's like literally it's almost as soon as we took off I just felt lightheaded I felt nauseous I wanted to vomit I almost asked for a plastic to just puke I have no idea what happened and as soon as I managed to hold back and as soon as we landed I felt better like I don't know Yo. I'm just glad it didn't last long because uh, Lusaka Lilongwe is not a lot of hours it's not far otherwise had it been a long flight I don't know Th this would have been a different story right now it would have been a completely different story because yo guys that was such a bad flight the flight we just disembarked on actually yes it is very strict with the covid and the people i'm fine with today my bag is there and I can so we're out to board our next flight i was just connecting here and um i'm scared now guys of what just happened basically i don't want to feel that feeling again <sighs> so yeah see you when i land in Tanzania and I think I need to do another COVID test which I didn't know about which is making me pretty mad considering I've had another bad flight but I was pressing in the bathroom we'll talk when I'm out, out so it turned out that I didn't have to take the COVID test but there were two lines one for people taking the test and one for not taking the test I don't know the difference I don't know if it's a country thing or individuality just do your research before you fly to Tanzania